The Kingsong S16 Pro aims to be both a beginner-friendly and budget-friendly electric unicycle. In this full review, I'm gonna be giving you my unfiltered thoughts so you can make the best possible buying decision. Let's get started, this is Wheel Good Time. The Kingsong S16 Pro is an 84 volt electric unicycle with a 3000 watt motor, 1480 watt hour fast discharge 50S batteries, an 88 millimeter travel distance, coil style suspension, and a range of about 30 miles or so. In typical Kingsong fashion, they have 360 degree RGB lighting, automagic light sensing 20 watt headlights with adjustable angles, tail lights and turn signals, and a set of Bluetooth speakers. Advertised riding speed on this is 70 kilometers an hour or 37 miles per hour. Not bad for an 84 volt EUC. Before I took the S16 Pro out for its very first ride, obviously I read the manual like a good muggle should. And then I noticed something weird. They're admitting in the manual there is parasitic battery drain that after 120 to 180 days, your battery is gonna go down to zero. What? Then as I flipped through the manual, I noticed there was a whole series of warnings, which I instead I took as a series of challenges to accomplish. I also like to live dangerously. Acceleration on the S16 Pro is both smooth and powerful for an 84 volt wheel. I never once cut out on it, but I have hit beeps when I'm accelerating really hard. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can really hear it working when you're accelerating really hard. That's something that I don't really hear in other EUCs. Just because it's making noise doesn't mean that it's having a hard time doing it. It's just that it was a rather noticeable thing when I was accelerating or whenever I was traveling at high speeds. And it's not just the tire that's making that noise. It's definitely the wheel itself and the motor working really hard to get to the speeds that I'm asking it to go. The dot matrix display isn't bad. It's bright, it's clear, and it tells you the exact information that you wanna know. When you're riding, it tells you the battery state and your speed. While charging, it tells you the exact battery percentage. The instruction manual says that it's a 32 by 32 dot matrix display though, which is clearly false. It's a 16 by 16 dot matrix display. I know this because I can count to 16. It's a really weird flex for them to be exaggerating or misrepresenting how many dots are on the screen when it's easily verifiable. It kind of makes me wonder, what else are they exaggerating or misrepresenting about their wheels? The one huge problem I have with the S16 Pro is the tire. The one that's included is some sort of hybrid street slash trail tire. I think Kingsong was going for a jack of all trades tire, a one size fits all sort of thing. But I found the tire on the S16 Pro to be more of a one size fits none. The tire profile is kind of squarish and it just felt really sketchy to me doing tight turns at medium speed. It also didn't do very well on trails either. It just didn't have a whole lot of grip. It doesn't have a very strong knobby tread pattern on it that grips the ground very well. If they change the tire to something with a more rounded profile and commit to either a smooth street or a knobby tread pattern, then this EUC will really shine in one of those areas. The S16 Pro is great at riding straight or doing gentle turns on the road, and that's not saying a whole lot. That said, if you change the tire out when you get this wheel, that will be, in my opinion, by far the biggest upgrade you can do on this wheel. Something I really appreciate about the S16 Pro is these flat panels here for pad mounting. It's really nice that all I have to do is just find the right spot and slap it on 
and there's no big gap in between here like on some other EUC models. Speaking of pads, I found that these were pretty good. I would personally give these pads like a solid B rating. They're good, they're not the best out there. I still think that that award goes to Grizzla, but the fact that you can change and adjust them is pretty good. Also, they're pretty soft, but not so soft that they're unusable. And I like the fact that you can lock your foot in. So again, these pads are good. They're not the best, but you definitely, definitely don't need to change these out on day one. As far as ergonomics are concerned, I really have to hand it to King Song. All of these corners are just so rounded. They're just so comfortable. There's no hard edges that your leg or your foot is pushing up against. So it really feels good to ride. There's a lot of comfort in this wheel and I really, really enjoyed the ride quality. When riding the S16 Pro, there was absolutely no discomfort whatsoever. The top is a bit rounded. We have rounded pads here. Everything, it just feels so smooth. I never found my body hitting any pinch points or any hard edges. Bigode, I hope if you're watching that you are taking notes here. This is how an EUC should be designed from a comfort perspective. King Song gets an A plus from an ergonomic standpoint. The suspension on King Song EUCs is what King Song is simultaneously famous and infamous for. They have a patent for this well-loved X-style suspension linkage. No other Chinese manufacturers, that's all of them, are legally allowed to make a suspension linkage like this. They also use a roller design that is famously bad. People have complained that the rollers will either stick or just break. I'm not able to comment on that because I haven't pulled it apart to inspect it, but I must say that I haven't experienced any issues and I felt that this suspension has been really nice and plush and I have really no complaints about it. Also, when I got the rebound speed really dialed in, I was able to go over some huge potholes and it really wasn't bone jarring in the least. Let's talk about build quality for a second. The battery cases, which are located on the sides here, are completely encased in metal. That's a really welcome addition because if you find yourself in a crash, you want your batteries to be as absolutely well protected as possible. The fit and finish on this is pretty much outstanding. I really liked the fit and finish on this. There was a few little issues though. Number one, the front handle here is made out of kind of cheap plastic. And in the event of a crash, this will absolutely be the first to go when it tumbles forward. Also, this top motherboard cover is, it's really beautiful, but there's a fundamental problem with this. If you crash, this is gonna be one of the first things to break or scratch really heavily. And that's a big problem, especially for a beginner EUC. You might wanna either get yourself a spare topper for here or just get yourself a seat. You can get a seat that's made specifically for the S16 that completely covers this and then whether or not you actually find yourself riding seated on it, at least this top portion is protected. Yeah, I mean, this is beautiful up top, but it's just not very well protected. So learners take note. If you find yourself in a crash, you want this top portion protected. Get a seat. The trolley handle on the S16 Pro is also a really nice, really well-built part of the machine. You don't have to press any magic buttons. All you have to do is to provide a certain amount of oomph and it'll pop right up. There's just no play. There's like no wobble in it. This is a really well-built part of the machine and one of the high points. Also, let's talk about the kickstand. Some EUCs have a really narrow kickstand, but not on the S16 Pro. For some EUCs, if a bee farts in the wrong direction on it, it'll just topple over. But that's really not the case with the S16 Pro. Heat dissipation was also very well executed on the S16 Pro. Being in an uber flat part of North Carolina, I can't really take it up any major hills to see how well it manages heat. So I do what I can here. I pendulum. I found that the temperature hardly went up at all, and it seemed like it was happy to pendulum as long as I asked it to. My thoughts are mixed on the lighting on the S16 Pro. There's RGB lighting that is nice, beautiful, and bright. It's a bit of a gimmick though, as it really doesn't do anything useful other than enhance its looks but what a great job it does to enhance the looks on it, am I right? The S16 has two headlights that have easily adjustable angles. It also has ambient light sensors, so it will adjust the light intensity for you and hopefully not unnecessarily blind people in front of you. For a $2,000 electric unicycle, you should expect brighter headlights. Cheaper EUCs out there have far better lighting than this. 
Come on, King Song, you almost nailed it in the lighting department. If only you made the headlight brighter. The speakers on the S16 Pro are absolutely phenomenal. I really like the fact that I was able to just absolutely blast my music and I was able to hear my music very clearly all the way up to about 30 miles per hour. This is possibly one of the highest points and one of the best things about the S16 Pro. It's really, really nice. One teeny tiny complaint I have about it is that I wish that the speakers were upward facing. My ears are up here, not down and out. I want the speaker to be blasting my music upward, not outward. I wanna be able to hear my music more than everyone around me wants to hear my music. I kind of feel like a jerk when I'm blasting my music at them and I'm not able to hear it as well as they are. But as you probably know, speakers are concave in shape. And so having it located on the top here would make water pool in it. So I don't really have a very good suggestion that would mitigate that or prevent water from pooling. So maybe my complaint is not totally legitimate. What's included in the box is an 84 volt five amp charger. If your S16 Pro is absolutely dead and completely unrideable, not recommended, then it will take three and a half hours to reach 100%. Not bad. Now for every EUC review I do, I'm gonna be trying to put this new little section in there called post-purchase requirements and post-purchase recommendations. Let's start with the post-purchase requirements. Number one, this wheel absolutely needs a different tire. In my opinion, this tire is absolutely awful. And fortunately, a tire is a pretty cheap thing. Yeah, it's really annoying to have to swap out a tire, but I believe that swapping out this tire for either a dedicated knobby tire or a dedicated street tire will fundamentally transform the performance on this wheel. Secondly, as we discussed earlier, this motherboard cover is extremely exposed. All of the sensitive electronics are located right here. And if you crash, this is gonna be one of the first things to go. It's just not awesome. But if you buy a seat, it will be a lot better protected. And so I can't stress enough how important it is to get a seat or some sort of foam cover or something to cover this top part here. Now let's talk about post-purchase recommendations. Number one, I would recommend buying an additional front handle here. Because this is just plastic, this is a bit of a sacrificial piece for when you inevitably crash every once in a blue moon. So I think that if you get a spare front handle, which they're pretty cheap to get, or if you just get something that's 3D printed, that's nice and rubber and strong, then that would be a really welcome thing. My final post-purchase recommendation is getting new pedals. These pedals are okay. And anytime someone calls them spiked pedals, they're lying to you. These are just bumps here. So you can either get new pedals or I recommend getting a Dremel tool and just grinding the very tops of all these little bumps here to sharpen the edges and then it'll really grip your shoe so much better. Let's get some final conclusions on the S16 Pro. Who is this wheel best for? In my opinion, I think it's really, really good as a beginner EUC. For the price that you're paying, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. I think that this is one of the best options out there for a beginner EUC. Secondly, I think this is really good for teaching children how to ride. If they are about the age of 10 or up, this is a really good size for them. If you're below that size, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just a bit too tall for a little kid. Thirdly, if you have absolutely no need to go extra fast, this is a really good budget-friendly option that is able to go up to 37 miles per hour. Sure, you're not gonna be going on long rides through the mountains of California on this thing, but what you will be able to do is get from point A to point B at a reasonably decent speed and not completely breaking the bank. For trail purposes, as long as the tire is changed out, this could be a really good trail EUC for light to medium trails. If you're looking for something that is on more technical trails, this is not your Huckleberry. You want something that's gonna be like the Extreme or Patton or V14 or the Commander Pro. Something that has a bit more voltage and a bit more power to go over the technical stuff. But as far as light to medium trails, this is where it's at. I wanna give a huge thank you to NextGen Mobility for providing this demo unit. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that so you can get yourself in on the drawing for a free $150 gift card to NextGen Mobility. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.